Tonight, a journey to Cuba, a troubled country taking historic steps to survive. For the first time in decades, profit is no longer a dirty word. We are very happy. <laughs> Under new laws, Cuban citizens can open a small business and strike out on their own. Now I know why you put the money up here. My name is Marcus Lemonis. On my show, The Profit, I use my own money to invest in struggling American companies. I'm 100% in charge. And help turn their fortunes around. Now I've come to one of the last holdouts of communism, to meet some pioneers of capitalism. The doors for the first time are wide open. I'm definitely a businessman. I love doing this. Do you think you're going to be in Cuba for the rest of your life? Yes, because Cuba is changing very, very fast. The obstacles are daunting. It's illegal for this clothing designer to open a store. This restaurant owner isn't allowed any more than 50 seats. She had to move her business on orders from the state. You cannot have two stands. No. This sucks. Meet Cuba's new business class, surviving and thriving under one of the most oppressive regimes in the world. I had barely set foot on Cuban soil when I saw how the new business laws are changing lives. Armando Lee rolled up in a 61-year-old Chevy, a typical Havana taxi. How you doing, my man? Hello, my friend. I'm Marcus. Marcus. My name is Armando. Nice to meet you. Armando? Yeah. Nice to meet you, brother. Like most Cubans, Armando was living on a government handout worth about $25 a month. Now he makes that in a single day, thanks to the taxi license he got under the new law. This is a good business. And you can make good money doing this? I can save a little bit for my own business. The best job is to do your own company, your own a small your own business. Company. Yeah, exactly. With his newfound cash and a degree in computer engineering, Armando hopes to launch his own startup. If you have a business and we become friends, can I invest in your company if I live yeah, in the United money, yeah, States? Yeah, you give me the money and that's it. Well, you have to pay me interest. OK, we can do it. A lot it. of interest. We find a lawyer and we can do a, okay. a contract, yeah? Armando made me feel welcome. Of course, I can't invest in a Cuban business. That's illegal because of the US embargo imposed after Fidel Castro's communist revolution. Since 1962, Cuba has been cut off from the goods and services an economy needs to survive. Despite free health care, housing, and higher education, many are struggling. How are you doing? Todo bien. Jorge. Marcos. But walking around the old city, I saw a place full of life, energized by the changes. Desperate to boost the failing economy? This is a cool bag. The government has loosened their reins on private enterprise. So everything's made in Cuba? Yes. Instead of working for the state, thousands of Cubans are now working for themselves. Very beautiful. I found them everywhere, even here, a sleepy street in a residential neighborhood in this tiny rented garage. Welcome to Burner Brothers Bakery, run by a brother and a sister. Tony and Sandra Camacho Rodriguez. Good morning. Good morning. I'm Marcus. So the name is Burner Brothers. Yep. Why not Burner Sisters? Because I'm a guy. And she's, but she's the boss. She's, no, she's not. Yes, I we am. are the bosses. <laughs> okay. All right. Come, Come in. Please. Thank you. This is unbelievable. It's small. Yeah. yeah. They started selling cookies out of their house in 2013. Now, they've really taken off with the retail space, several employees, and a catering service. Can I try something? I want to buy a box, a big box. Can I have a guava in cafe? Why did you decide to open this business? We love bakery, and we wanted to have a business of, of, of our own. 
What did you do before this? I'm a dentist. Oh, yes. She's a you're dentist. a dentist. Yes. And you're selling sugar. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> How much did that pay? They pay me 1,000 pesos uh, a month. Around. That's about $50 a month for a dentist. And you make more money selling donuts? Here? Yes. In one day? Not in one day. Pretty close. We'll discuss about it later. <laughs> Is it difficult to talk with the cameras because you worry about people seeing it? Yep. Tony and Sandra are clearly doing well. But you can see the anxiety set in when I ask them about money. It's not the kind of attention you want in Cuba. The Prophet in Cuba premieres Tuesday, November 15th, 10 Eastern. CNBC, get yours. Hey, CNBC fans, thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Here you'll find videos from all your favorite CNBC shows. Be sure to subscribe by clicking right here. Click on the videos around me and watch the latest from CNBC. Thanks for watching.